true crime mystery. Please welcome author Darby Hart. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Spoiler alert. The murder mystery revolves around Darby Hart, a 24-year-old hacker sleuth known as Jen Z. Sherlock Holmes, who publishes a true crime memoir detailing how she and her then-boyfriend Bill Farris Dickinson investigated a string of serial killings when they were teenagers. Darby Hart is invited to attend a secret retreat owned by a reclusive billionaire. The conference is hosted by tech tycoon Andy Ronson and his wife, Lee Anderson, a well-known hacker who has just faded from the public spotlight. It takes place at a futuristic and exclusive hotel in Iceland, regarding the inspiration for Corrin's character. Batmang Lai told the Los Angeles Times, The generation below us has grown up completely in the world of technology. The dynamic that enables this generation to go head-to-head -head with a billionaire who possesses immense power, intelligence and other attributes captivates us. The narrative we choose is to demonstrate how this generation is capable of holding preceding generations accountable. Darby learns that Bill, who is now a well-known artist known by the stage name Fangs, is also a guest at the snow-covered complex. After a six-year separation, Darby is determined to find out who killed Bill after seeing his last moments through the window of his hotel room, where he was terrified and covered in blood. What transpires in a murder at the end of the world's first several episodes? Homer Fataley and the Silver Doe, the first two episodes of the series, set the scene for Darby's investigation. They did this by alternating between flashbacks and her childhood visits to crime scenes as the daughter of a coroner, and then showing how she teamed up with Bill to find the person responsible for a string of unsolved Jane Doe murders. After the nine summit guests, an elite group of scientists, artists, business people, and activists are introduced at the end of the premiere, Bill passes away. Ronson's most recent creation, an AI assistant that is always with him and is holographically personified as a butler named Ray Arado Ballerini, is also shown. In the second episode, Darby races to see the first female moonwalker, Brazilian physician Cyan Chilis Braga. For assistance, Bill passes away from a heroin overdose, according to Ronson, despite Cyan's best efforts to save him. However, Darby starts to look for hints since he is dubious about the circumstances surrounding his death. Darby finds out that Bill only has syringe scars on his right arm after breaking into his hotel room. Ray responds that it's not typical for drug addicts to inject themselves in their dominant arm. When she asks whether this happens, then Darby sees Lee entering the room to look into Bill's corpse as well. Upon confronting Lee afterwards, she finds out that she shares her suspicions that Bill's death was not an accident. As the episode draws to a close, Darby breaks into the hotel security footage and discovers that, on the night of Bill's death, two people were hanging out outside Bill's room. David Rorrell E. Esparza, an Argentinian-American venture capitalist, and Zeba Pega Ferran, an extent to despise Ronson. Her most shocking revelation, though, is that after Bill had entered his room, a mysterious man in a mask appeared outside. 